You can still have great sexual experiences even without penetration. So today's video is for all the men and women who can't or just don't want to have an intercourse. Hey my love, my name is Magda Kay, I am an intimacy expert, tantra teacher and a relationships coach and welcome to my online little temple where I share all the tips about intimacy, relationships, amazing sex life, whether you're single or in a relationship. And today it's such an important topic. So very often couples who come to work with me their issue is that for some reason they're not able to have intercourse and so they kind of stop having sex all together and like their sex life just stops existing and it's because we equate sex life or sex in general with penetration so in this video i want to share with you a beautiful way to go very deep with your partner and enjoy this erotic experience even if there is no penetration think about it what is it really that we're craving and we're looking for when we come together with a partner in an intimate way we want the depth, we want the connection, we want to be present in the body. In fact, we want to be present here in this moment. You know, forget about everything else, not worry for a moment. Of course, we want pleasure, we want ecstasy, we want bliss. We want that feeling of just letting go, dissolving and merging into one with ourselves, with the partner or with divine. We want these experiences and darling, you can totally have all of it, even if intercourse is not available. So. I want to share with you the practice that allows you to meet all of those needs, really connect deeply to your partner, keep your sex life so alive, and again, without penetration. So think of it like a mix of kundalini practice, a massage, and meditation, and some breath work, all of the beautiful things thrown in together for an absolutely beautiful, deep, erotic experience. So, in this practice, one partner offers to the other a sensual touch, a sensual massage. So when I say sensual, I really don't mean the type of massages that you get in a spa. This is not a therapeutical massage. This is not a deep tissue and painful massage, and it's not a relaxing massage. So that means that you are engaging the whole body in this experience. That means all these parts that usually don't get touched, but also all the parts that we really like touching, meaning the genitals. And for this practice, both of you want to be fully naked. So now, we want to add things like kissing, teasing, licking, biting, right? All of the things you only get to do with your lover. And then I also want you to think of all the ways you can engage as much of your body with your partners. So I mean mostly sliding. Basically the more body contact you have, the more sensual it feels. And play with things like feathers, some different fabrics, maybe velvet that feels really nice on the body. You can add some food and feed your partner as well. Now, of course, when you're using feathers and fabrics, you don't want to use oil at this moment, but once you get to sliding your body on your partner, you want oil and you want a lot of it. Now, there's a few principles to follow to really make it a deep experience. The first one is you have to be fully present. Present means that nothing else exists for you in this moment. You're fully focused on the experience that you're giving. So one of the ways to achieve the state of high presence is bring awareness exactly to where your body meets your partner. So if I touch my arm, I bring all of my focus and awareness to this one little point and nothing else exists. So presence is really the key here. This is what builds safety trust and what allows us to really go deep into our body. It's not tangible, but it makes all the difference. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that you want to breathe deeply and especially the partner receiving the touch, you want to breathe with your mouth. So in meditation, it's a standard practice to breathe with the nose because it stills the mind and it empties our mind. 
but we want the opposite experience. We want to be high on energy. And for that, you want to breathe with your mouth and taking deep inhales and deep exhales. Basically, this is how we add the energy to our body, activate it and then move it. Okay, so that's the second principle. The third principle, and this is for the giver of the experience, is that you really need to find your own pleasure in giving. So very often we are so focused on giving and we don't really truly source pleasure from what we're doing for someone else that it starts kind of changing how you perceive the whole experience. You're thinking, well, I'm giving. Okay. It's like, I'm giving, I'm giving, I'm giving. What about me? And at some point you're going to get to the point where you simply will not be fully present and you will not be doing your best offering this experience to your partner because naturally all of the parts in our mind will get turned on thinking well what about me when is my turn it's always me giving so it's really important to find pleasure in giving this experience so that after all you feel filled and not empty because you just gave something so you need to be able to source your own pleasure and your own experience from giving this beautiful sensual massage to your partner now, there is something you need to know about a male and female body. So we work a little bit differently. So for a male body, so if, if a man is receiving this experience, you want to start with the full body massage, activate the full body, but don't spend too much time there. You want to pretty fast make your way all the way to the genitals, activate the energy and then spread it again through the body. Now for women, it's different. We need our whole body activated first from the outside towards the genitals. And really you want to touch the genitals honestly as last part of the body. And before that you want to activate every single centimeter of her body, every little finger and every little toe. So it's just that the energy moves differently in a male and female body. And if you want both really to drop deep and enjoy it to the fullest, that's kind of the flow we want to follow. Now here is a very important thing. An orgasm is not the goal of this experience. We want to let go of any pressure of being goal oriented. Again, you want to be present in the moment. So you are not trying to give anyone an orgasm and you're not trying to get an orgasm. If it happens, great, but it's not something we want to chase here. Also, it doesn't matter if a woman gets wet or not. And for men, it doesn't matter if you get an erection or not. This is a fully free experience and we want to allow our bodies to receive it in whatever way that feels the best in this moment. Now, if you really want to drop deep, then make sure you spend minimum half an hour on this experience. Take it even farther, 45 to one hour. But even if you don't have that much time, just engage like this for 15 minutes and it will keep the spark alive. It will keep you erotically engaged with each other. It's really, really, really powerful just to be able to connect like this with your partner on an ongoing basis. So what this practice does is that it really activates your whole body and not just the physical body, but the energy body as well. So we open, we awaken our inner eros and we move this energy through the body. And that first of all brings huge opening to the heart. So you can have have glimpses of unconditional love. So in these moments, you're really deepening the connection with your partner. Then, because the energy is moving through your body, you can also experience deep healing. So you may feel your Kundalini activated and move you. You may start shaking, you may laugh or you may cry. And all of these are really beautiful experiences and signs the energy is freely moving through your body. And lastly, yes, you may actually have a full body energy orgasm. Again, this is not the goal, but this may happen if you're really relaxed, vulnerable, surrendered, and a lot of energy has been activated and moved. 
So as you can see, darling, there is so much to explore even when penetration is not available or it's just not something that you want. You know, one of the biggest things that I bring to my client is really broadening their understanding and experience of sex. Like you can be highly, highly sexual and not have penetration. So your sexuality is just so much more. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like and if you would like more videos like this please subscribe to my channel i share a new video every week so my love thank you so much for being here today and i'll be seeing you next week bye